I meet a lot of people at airports and hotels and restaurants and barbecues and places and they we have nice conversations, but uh, a lot of them boil down to, so was Back to the Future the only thing you ever did? Uh, no, I've done a lot of things. <laughs> Movies, TV shows, uh, animation. Well, I haven't seen it. I mean, name something. Name something. I name a couple things. They say, I never saw that. Say, name something else. I, well, what do you do, Bob? I'm a plumber. Well, name some houses. I what? A few toilets. Anybody have a wrench for? But what? You have to. I have to prove it or something. What? And then they ask, "What do you do?" I mean, you know, in a day, like, what do you do? What do I do? So, it's a Tom vlog. What I do. Audition today outside CBS. This is a street that all the actors use. They don't uh, let you go in and park on the lot, so you have to use parking meters on the street here. Um, outside CBS, where they, they filmed everything here. Seinfeld and Everybody Loves Raymond. A, a million shows in here, and there are a lot of auditions here. So um, I've been coming here to audition for things for decades, and um, early on, I drove here in my 69 Buick LeSabre, uh, a convertible, but it was all ripped up. Um, parked here and there was an old, just like this, <laughs> very close to this, um, there was an older man in a sedan in front of me and he's in the rear view mirror, like he's fixing his hair and he's going over his his lines here, the sides of the audition, and he's, he's acting in his car to himself. But he's an older man, probably in his 70s or whatever I could see. And I, I sat here for a long time watching him as I had my audition and I was, who knows what, 22. And I thought, um, wow, is that going to be my life? Parked out here on the street, outside the studio, working on my lines, on my audition. And, fixing my hair in my rear view mirror to go in and ask these people for another job. Anyway, the guy came out of the car. It was Roddy McDowell. Yes, from Planet of the Apes, from The Towering Inferno, from a million movies, and The Carol Burnett Show, from, from the classic movie How Green Was My Valley. A legendary actor and movie star, Roddy McDowell, was out here in the street fixing his hair, and working on his lines. So I think it went well. Um, here's the thing with auditioning. No matter how many times you've auditioned, and I've auditioned 70 trillion times, at the end they said, really funny, great job. And walking out of the room, you're already thinking, was that code for something? Did they mean really funny, great job? Is that code for that wasn't very good to the other people listening to the audition? Another audition warm, caring patriarch who's funny, went okay, who knows. I saw John Rotzenberger there at the audition, and Alan Ruck, great guys. Two of the good guys of Hollywood, John Rotzenberger and I did a movie called That Darn Cat, where we, uh, we were actually in Augusta, Georgia, we went to a welterweight world championship boxing match where we met Buster Douglas. I have a picture, I think, somewhere of us and Buster Douglas, and uh, James Brown was there, uh, the godfather of soul. And uh, John Ratzenberger played Cliff Clavin on the show Cheers. So uh, James Brown came over to meet us, and he just came up to John, and he just went, Cheers! <laughs> Like that. And John goes, yeah, cheers, I was on, cheers, I'm John. And he goes, ha, ah, ah, cheers, ha, ah, ah. Early on, when people were making videos, these kind of first person videos, I was doing a movie and uh, one of the actor's sons, teenage guy, he was making these kind of selfie videos. And everyone was supportive and everything, but, uh, he edited it together and it came time to show everyone in the hotel. We were on location. And the hotel was very nice. Gave him a room. 
to show it to everyone to gather together. And uh, <laughs> all of his footage was so shaky that uh, the director's wife uh, ran out of the room and threw up in the hallway. So I'm mindful of shaky footage, and if that was shaky, sorry. This is a very busy street. Thank you, truck. We're here with Matt, my friend Matt. James and I um, eat at Organic Cafe. Don't look at the thing. Let me do my thing. I was just, I was just peeking. I wanted to see if you were framed. Don't make listen, listen. When I'm making a video, it's here. My green drink is here. It's kale and what else is it? There's uh, cucumber. There's lettuce. There's. Uh, Apple juice? There's apple. There's, oh my gosh. No, you're not. Oh, wow. Wow. I think I will support you in not drinking. Not drinking. Yeah. It's turning I think there's very... <laughs> Occasionally, I work in the film and television business. This is makeup. Where we do makeup. Yeah. Getting wires put on me. That's what's happening here. That's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Hey, I gave you good marks. Great guy. Best in the biz right here. You talking about Carrie, me, or yourself? <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Best in the biz right here. Best in the biz. Best, best in the biz. I have film and television professionals working on me so that I look my best. Vince Scully broadcast Dodgers baseball games for 67 years. Somebody asked him, how did you keep your voice so, you know, such a signature voice? He says, I suck on a Jolly Rancher candy in between every inning. It's very tart, gives me a lot of lubrication, I think. I'll do that on the set. I'll suck on a Jolly Rancher before, before the scene, so I have a lot of lubrication in my voice. So I got it, Vince Scully. I'm going on camera, then. The number of skilled people from every walk of life on a set is incredible. From every possible skill set, from every corner of the world. I'm constantly amazed at the talent and hard work. And Well, the only thing more amazing than their talent and hard work is the fact that they haven't caught on that I don't know what I'm doing. You guys can funnel through here. Okay. And then your mark is going deeper. In here. All right. Somewhere in here. Dots, yes, all okay. On the floor. All right. You're a little deeper in this yep. hallway thing. Fair enough. Um, in so order to catch that, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. You see this, the wood here on the mantle? Yes. We had you, so your toes were right up against it. Okay. It happens in studio lots and everything. They're very nice, and we're getting flu shots. We're going on the left arm in case, you know, I have to punch. <laughs> we have to get a fist bite, you have to punch anybody. You want the flu shot on your off arm. Cause, uh, would you hold this oh, while yeah. I, cause I just want to make sure I can. Just in case. <laughs> just, yeah, just okay. In case. All right. Oh my God. I'm okay. I will not, I will not hit you. <laughs> if anything bad happens during the flu shot, I will, uh, I will wrestle you to the ground. Okay. All right. I'll... That. Ow! I do more than that. I, I ran out of time. I can't make a video of an, I, I do other things um, and I'm gonna continue it. I'm gonna do another video and show you other things that I, okay, I'll show you. Okay, for right now, I'm shooting one more thing that I do. But that's it. I'll see you on the next one.